With me is Brian Lee, Vice President of Phonon Technologies, which is a partner, does business with Laser Photonics. So Brian, welcome and, and kind of can you set it up. How is Phonon and Laser related? So Phonon Technologies is the government sales arm of Laser Photonics. Um, Laser Photonics is our manufacturer. Uh, when, when we sell products to the government, oftentimes they have different um, requirements where you source materials and things like that. So the, the phone on technology systems are specifically designed to meet the stringent requirements of the federal and DOD space. Okay. So that's your main customers, uh, government. Absolutely. Government, state, um, all the way up to federal, all across the different uh, branches. And you mentioned you had spent several years in the Navy. So that has been, yeah, been uh, 26 years place. in the Navy, quite a few years. I uh, retired as a surface warfare officer back in late 2016. Uh, it was a great career. I got to see a lot of parts of the world, but um, it's, it's, I'm, I'm glad to be a civilian these days, so it's good. <laughs> now, you mentioned there is a rapidly growing demand for Phonon Technologies product line. So can you go into a little more depth about the demand, what you're seeing, and what particular items are in demand right now? Oh, absolutely. So uh, if you follow the news broadcasting, there's a big demand. There's a huge issue with corrosion inside the United States Navy specifically, but across all branches of the government. Um, it's been something they've been battling for years. They use sandblasting, needle gunning, things like that. So the governments and the, and the DOD are, are specifically looking for ways to actually attack the corrosion issue. Um, President Trump actually asked, the, at that time, the uh, nominated Secretary of, of Navy, um, the Honorable Mr. Phelan, about what, what he was going to do about the corrosion. So it's been a specific problem. And it's 20 plus billion dollars are dedicated yearly to the problem. So it's just it's not something that's going away. It's only growing larger. So our particular systems are designed to attack corrosion and laser ablation in a, in a non-traditional way. By, instead of using the industrial, like uh, like I said, needle gunning or sandblasting and things like that, our systems do it using um, either a pulse or continuous wave lasers, and they actually ablate the surface, which means just basically remove the corrosion and it evaporates it. So it's it's more healthy, it's ergonomically more sound, um, it's, it's green energy um, across the, the government. So I think it's just another way of doing it that's appealing on a lot of different levels. Yeah. But really interesting. I had didn't even know that was an issue. So, and you also talked about drones and doing some cutting edge work there. Can you explain that? Sure. We, we have some R and D projects, additive manufacturing, which simply means you know three D printing is is huge in an expeditionary environment. Specifically, we uh, have patents on several cutting edge um, additive manufacturing processes. We're also developing a counter drone system. That specific it is very unique and, and totally um, counters the ongoing and growing drone problem that we have uh, globally. You know, just watch the news on Ukraine. It's something that's happening every day. There's a new Pentagon initiative that specifically talks about bringing domestic drone manufacturing here. There's an a, a natural counterpart to that from a counter drone perspective. So our system is radically different on how it approaches um, countering drones in either in large groups or smaller groups. And if people want to reach out and talk to us, we can talk more specifically about the system and, and what that's going to do to, to, to radically change that industry. Wow, very interesting. Are there other systems uh, that you offer and that are in demand? So absolutely. We do handheld systems, which you know can do smaller projects. You can automate any of our laser systems. If you're going to do parts, we do um, etching and engraving, which is a big requirement uh, for, for serialization of processes so that you can automate that process. We can do an enclosed system with robotics integrations. We have partners with several major industry leaders in robotics globally, which we're integrating our lasers into their um, robotic systems. You can work in the nuclear industry. It can work in the industrial shipyard environments, manufacturing. There's really not an industry that, that we can't touch and, and bring our applications to. Yeah. Really interesting. Are there, I mean, I guess the corrosion issue and the drones are somewhat urgent. Um, any other urgent needs from the Department of Defense or the government um, that you're able to provide right now, Phonon? Sure. I think, like we talked about before, the, the, the laser ablation and the corrosion control is a massive problem. People are trying to address it, but it's just every single year it continues. So <laughs> be able to bring different size systems with different capability is a critical part. There's ongoing testing um, across the DOD to be able to use laser ablation technologies on aircraft parts, which is a big deal. Uh, the submarine service, surface uh, surface combatants, and then in this and then industrial environments as well. But be that shipyards, ship manufacturing, automotive manufacturing. So 
there's really not an arena or a space that that there's not an application for. And again, with the money savings in the long run, the health benefits, not having the uh, the ingestion of the, the the sandblasting and the things like that, uh, carpal tunnel and the hearing loss that develops from using needle guns. I mean, it's in the government's best interest to push ahead with these new revolutionary te technologies. And I think we're leading the way in that process. Yeah, absolutely fascinating. And things that the public doesn't realize that goes on behind the scenes when it comes to the military. Absolutely. I think it's just, you could, you could spend all your day following all that stuff, but uh, you know, that's our job. We follow it heavily. And I think we have some products that's really going to help the, the government specifically on our side, radically change how they do business. Okay. Brian, thank you so much for coming and explaining uh, what you do and what phone on technologies does. Absolutely. My pleasure. Thank you.